What's going on RV world? This is Cam Hilliard from Miller's RV in Baton Rouge and today we're shooting a video from inside of our shop but it's of a new Winnebago travel trailer. So before I get started go ahead like this video subscribe to our channel make sure to turn on post notifications so you get an update every time we post something that's cool because we know that you're gonna like it. So without further ado this is the 2024 Winnebago Mini 2500 FL. So the reason that we're in our shop right now is we just got this thing in. I don't think it's been in here for 10 days and it's already sold. So we're getting it prepped to get it to its new owner. Um, this is a really, really cool floor plan. Although, although, although it's already sold, um, we're going to get more of these in. So we want to give you a walkthrough because I think you're really, really going to like it. Um, so we'll start on some of the feats of the outside and then we'll jump inside. All right, guys. So I'm standing on the side of this mini now. Um, and the first thing I want to point out is that it is pre-wired for side view cameras. That's a feature that I really like. So side view cameras on trailers have been a thing for a while, but coming from the factory pre-wired is relatively new. So this is really important, especially for a mid-sized trailer like this. Sometimes like a small size trailer, not as much. Um, and even if you've done a lot of towing, you may say, oh, I don't need that, which that's fine. Um, but it is really useful because with a, a flip of a blinker, you can see down the side, the full side of your trailer, so you know exactly what's there. You don't have to worry about that blind spot or side swipe or anything because you can see. Now this, this side view camera system is also integrated with the rear view camera this is pre-wired for. So if you get that Furion system, basically it all works together. So you hit your blinker left, you can see left. You hit your blinker right, you see right, and then the rest of the time it's idle on that backup screen. So this is really important so you know exactly what's around you at all times and mitigates the chances of sideswiping somebody. It just makes you a lot safer for you and your family. So I really like that. Behind me, you've got your full length awning here. Of course, it does have does have uh, built-in LED strips. So I like that, kind of sets the mood a little bit. And you do have weatherproof JBL speakers. I love the JBL speakers because I'm a music guy. And you know, for so long, RVs, especially trailers, just use these cheap, crispy, or I guess I shouldn't say crispy, more like crackly, speakers for the exterior that just don't sound good and they don't play my music the way I want to hear it. Um, so with the JBL, it's crisp audio, it's got some depth to it, so I really like that. So on the other side, uh, on the driver's side, you do have a little bit of storage over there. Um, this unit is inverter prep, it is 50 amp and it does have two ACs. We'll touch more on that in a minute. But in the rear, you'll see you have a pass-through storage. So I want to show you something I always point out to my customers whenever you've got the pass-through storage out there. Um, now another thing, and you'll see this from the inside, but having two entry doors is really cool to me. Um, I like it because it's one, it, it's kind of a safety thing, like if there's a fire, I've got two ways out. Um, and then another thing, it makes it really useful because uh, I've mentioned in a lot of my videos, I've got a 10 month old. Um, so if she was with us and maybe we had her like in her bassinet up front or something like that, and uh, we wanted to, uh, my wife and I, or we had to let out the dog or something like that, we wouldn't have to go through and wake her up, we could just go out the back door and we'd be in good shape. So I, I really do like that feature, it's very convenient. So I wanna show you this pasture storage here. Let's check it out. All right, so I'm at the rear of the trailer now. Um, this is our pasture storage here. Before I point that out, I do wanna point out that you do have the hollow bumper so you can store your sewage hose in there. That's a really useful feature so you don't have to take up any interior speaker, I mean the interior storage or, or put it in the back of the truck. Um, so that's a plus. Also, you do have four stabilizer jacks, electric tongue jack as well, but what I like about these four stabilizers, so. It's good to have electric stabilizers regardless, but more often than not, you're gonna have stabilizers that it's one button for the rear, one button for the front. This, you have individu individual controls for each stabilizer. So although they're not made to truly level, you can kind of do a little, bit of, a little bit of adjustments to make it feel right inside. Um, also, another thing that I like too, is your motor is interior, your motors are both interior mounted. So, and if you ever do run out of power or a motor ever goes out, you don't have to take the motor off the end of the jack. Instead, you can just hook your impact with the socket or you can just do the included jack that comes with it and hand crank the jacks up. So it's a good fail safe to have. So our pass-through storage here, we've got magnetic latches up top so it's not going to swing down and hit me in the head whenever I'm bending down. So all the way through this storage, you've got aluminum framing that goes across. So a lot of trailers do have aluminum framing in the walls and in the roof. Whenever you look in the storage compartments, you see wood. I love that in this, I can point at a customer and say, hey, look, there's no corners cut here. There's even aluminum over the bed or underneath the bed in the storage department. It's just really nice to point out and you can see the quality. Um, I also do love the fact that there is a furnace output in here. So this isn't an air conditioned basement, but it is a heated basement, which is more important because if you have stuff in here um, that could be sensitive to cold weather, then you can just turn your furnace on and, and whenever it's cold, obviously, 
and it's going to output some in here as well. Now, speaking of cold weather, this is a true Four Seasons trailer. You do have heated and enclosed tanks underneath, um, so you're going to be good no matter where you go any time of the year. Also, before we head inside, last thing I want to point out is you do have Goodyear Endurance tires on this, so not cheaply made garbage tires that are going to blow out as soon as you go down the road 60 miles. These are our tires that are built to last. So I really like that. Let's check out the inside. This is a really cool floor plan. All right, guys, so I'm inside of the 2500 FL now. Like I said, this is a new floor plan, and uh, I really, really like it. So whenever you first walk in, you've got recliners to your left, and then you're looking directly here. So door, if you're looking, well, you're right at me. Door is right there. Um, so we're inside now. You've got a Sansui Smart TV here, uh, the JBL speakers, that they're in, the interior speakers here, and, of course, your exterior speakers as well. Ducted 15,000 AC, BTU AC here. Um, and then to my left, the dinette. So I always point this out because I, I grew up camping. So I, we camped in a lot of stuff that had like the swing down leg for the tables. And I cannot tell you how many times we broke that thing or even with like the metal posts that were down there. Whenever you swing and you hit your knees and like, man, I'm only 25 years old, but I got bad knees and that hurts. Um, but this does not have that. It's got just a little lever here that you can move and lower and raise the table. So nice and easy, it makes a bed without a problem. I don't have to worry about breaking a post or hitting my knees. Um, that's just a really convenient thing to have. Now, not the biggest windows, but it does have three windows. It's got two small ones. It's got one behind me, one in front of me, and then this is a decent sized window here. Um, so you do get some natural light. It's not the most in the world. Um, so it does feel, it does feel a little tight in this area. Uh, but it has got some decent floor space, so I like that. Um, so I want to flip around so you can kind of see the counter space that you have, and then you'll get a glimpse of the recliners as well. Okay, so I'm in front of our two recliners now. Um, the recliners are both manual. Um, they do have a little area in here. Um, no USB plugs, that's all right. Um, cup holders here. Uh, and then to the right of the recliners, that's, that's where you actually you've got USB and 110 plugs there um, and a lot of space to put like drinks or remotes or something like that. Um, now above me, you have four cabinets up here. Uh, so the cabinets are, it is all one open space. Um, I do like the feel of these latches, very, very heavy duty latches. Um, it all feels really solid. Um, so I like that. I like the look of it too. It's just a clean look. Now these lights here are click lights, so you can turn off which lights you want. And I do have switches for the ones that are in the middle here. Um, but to my left, this is going to be our control panel. This is where you operate everything whenever you first get in the trailer um, or even throughout the throughout the camping experience. Uh, you've got battery monitors, fresh water monitors, your slides in and out, and then a few light switches as well. Now I mentioned it does have tank heaters. It also does have an electric and gas hot water heater. So big thumbs up from Cam on that one. So we are going to flip around so you can see the sink and the kitchen area of this. It's kind of in a, a cozy little nook here. Um, so I want to show you that and then we'll jump to the bedroom. Okay, so I'm in the kitchen area now and I do want to point out that in the front of this little area, you've got a big cabinet that opens up so you can access all the storage that's underneath this. Um, you do have an extended countertop here. So that's nice and that, that feels solid. Sometimes these things can feel a little wonky. So that, that feels sturdy. Um, sink here, it is not a, a double sink, but it is a very big sink. And I like that they give you the, the sink covers that can double as cutting boards or just extra countertop space. Also, I like that the faucet has this little pull down feature. It makes it easier for washing dishes and you know spraying, spraying people when you want to. Uh, to my right, we've got our three burner stove top here. So you can grill or, or not grill, I'm sorry, you can you can boil the water for your coffee and cook all that stuff that you want to do. No oven on this mini. You do have a convection microwave instead, which in our comments someone said that you're saying it wrong. A convection microwave is an oven. Yeah, but it's not a traditional oven, so get lost, guy. Um, this is a convection microwave with oven capability, sure, if you want to say it. Um, underneath, you've got your storage here, so pots and pans or whatever you see fit. And then below that, you're going to have your fuses and breaker panels. Now, I forgot to mention that underneath the TV, as on a lot of Winnebago's, you do have wireless charging for your phone. So I like to have that. Um, underneath the sink, you've got more storage here. And actually, yeah, all of these uh, cabinets, both in the front and right here, pass through to each other. So it's a big open storage. And then actually underneath, you've got some more storage too. Now, there is a kind of funny little storage compartment here. Um, I hope that whoever buys this can tell me what they, what they use it for because it's like this tiny little 
little access. I, there's got to be a good reason for it, but it is kind of kind of funny to me. Um, so yeah, so I said we we're gonna check out the bedroom, but actually I want to check out the bathroom instead before the bedroom. Now, if you can see it, it's a uh, a big plus for me. This is a 12 volt compressor driven refrigerator. It is 10 cubic foot, so a very good size refrigerator. And we always tell people that, you know, if you have a two way fridge, you're talking seven, eight, 10 hours, sometimes longer to cool the fridge. Whereas this, this freezer is going to cool in 45 minutes and the fridge probably an hour and a half, two hours. I mean, it cools really, really fast and it gets really, really cool. I'll put my, I'll put my ice cream in that. No problem. It will be good. So let's check out this bathroom guys. Okay guys, so I'm inside of the bathroom now. It is a mid bath, so it's a convenient location for uh, people who are sleeping in the main bedroom and then also if you have anyone sleeping in the dinette. Um, so shower here, it's an okay size shower. Um, it's definitely not, not big by any means. Uh, if you stand facing this way or facing that way, you'll be all right. Um, but standing this way, it might be a little tight. Um, I do like the shower curtain here. This is the Nautilus shower curtain, so it will squeegee you off the water that's on the curtain so it's not going to mildew or get all nasty, uh, so I like that. Um, sink behind me here. It's a good size, or I guess it's a, it's a decent size sink. It is deep though, so you're not busting your knuckles. I always like that. I don't like to bust the knuckles on the sink. But below me, we got to do the knock test here. I think this is a porcelain toilet. Let's see. It is. So porcelain toilet here. Um, I like that. I just it, it feels more sturdy when you sit down on it. Um, to my right, they've already got hangers here for your towels, or maybe if you want to put jackets in here or something like that. And then to this side, you've got storage here um, for toilet paper or chemicals or even towels. And then underneath, you've got a drawer, and then you've actually got more cabinet space there. And then there's an open pouch here, which I actually really like because um, I. I don't know, kind of like the aesthetic of like rolled towels. Like I think it looks pretty cool. So you could actually put some towels there too, um, which would be really convenient as well. So I want to flip around and show you the storage that you have directly across from the bathroom. I think this is the main closet space. I haven't I haven't taken too much look into the bedroom yet, but this is a nice little mid pantry slash closet area here. Let's take a look. So I'm right across from the bathroom now. This is some storage here. Now I've got a I've got a view of it now, so I did want to point out. Uh, the front AC, like I said, it is ducted. It does have a thermostat, so your thermostat is right here. Um, but back to this, so you've got your storage here. This is hanging space, good closet space. These are kind of like little cubbies. Um, and, and they're all, I, I should mention, all of this is very deep. Um, it's It's got to be two and a half feet deep. Um, this, you're going to have more cubby storage there. This will be good pantry storage. And then you've got one, two, you've got five of these little drawers like this. And I believe they're all full, full length. Yeah, they sure are. So you've got five nice drawers there. So this is kind of like a little hidden extra or a little like bonus storage area here. Um, so I like that. And I want to show you something in the bedroom that makes all the difference in the world to me. Okay, so I'm in the bedroom now. Uh, like I mentioned earlier, you do have your second AC here. This is a 13.5 non-ducted. So you have a thermostat for the front AC. This, you just have your twist knob here. And I'll tell you, quite frankly, this is even overkill. Uh, if you, even in like a hot Louisiana summer, the one AC cools just, just fine. This just cools it a lot faster and makes it where that front AC isn't working as hard. So it is great. Um, but if you, this is a 50 amp trailer, but if you're ever somewhere where you can only plug into 30 amp and run the front AC, you'll be just fine. I mean, this thing cools really well with just that. But added bonus feature here, I love it. And if you like sleeping with a lot of noise, you can just dump this AC right down on you and you'll be in good shape. Um, to my right and to the other side of the bed, um, you have hang space on either side, so that's good. Over top storage here, um, which could be great for pillows or whatever you find there. Um, and then underneath each side of the bed, you're gonna have your USB and your 120 plugs there. Um, so that's great for CPAP because you could put it here or you could potentially just set it here. So also you have a nightstand on either side of the bed. That's something that I really like because I, just, I like to keep things at arm's reach whenever I can. Um, but the thing that I was talking about that makes a big difference to me in this bedroom is that this is a 60 by 80 queen. So it's not an RV queen. It's not 60 by 74. This is a 60 by 80. So it's a regular size queen mattress. So that means what? No special sheets. If you want to change the mattress, because let's be honest, this mattress isn't great. If you want to change a mattress, you can change it with any regular mattress. If you have a spare one at the house, throw it in here. You don't have to worry about buying some RV size queen. This is and and you don't lose any space. It feels just like home whenever you go sleep in this. So that is probably the most important thing in this really in the coach. I just love having 
60 by 80 queens um also underneath so you're gonna have storage underneath but there's a thing that i really like and i had a customer point out to me a week or two ago on another floor plan that we have um that has this same storage so there's little cubbies on either side of this they're like great for like small dogs like i don't neither of my dogs are fit they would try um but it's like perfect little cubbies here which could be great for storage or could be great if like you want your dogs close um but not on the bed so I do really like that. Also, you have a sliding door here to give you some privacy in the bedroom. Um, and that's, yeah, I, I like that because that kind of makes everything go seamless too. There is hookups in here if you want to put a TV in the bedroom. Um, and then we've got the, the shades pulled right now because like I mentioned earlier, we are in the shop. Um, but some good natural light in here coming from the three windows as well. So I like the bedroom. This bedroom's a home run for me. Of course, we have the second injury door there. Um, but yeah, big time win for the bedroom for me. Let's check back out in the front, and we're going to wrap this up. All right, guys, so this was the 2500FL Mini. Uh, it's a new floor plan that we're really excited about. Winnebago's pushed out a couple new floor plans in the travel trailers, um, and also they're coming out with um, a whole new line of travel trailers that I don't honestly I don't know when we'll get, hopefully pretty soon. Um, but, yeah, stay tuned for those. Again, that, that that's why it's important to keep your post notifications on because we stay posting – the best content in the game and also we post the newest products that we have to offer so we appreciate you guys stopping by if you want any pricing info on the 2500 fl we've got a link below with prices and pictures of all of our inventory and a link where you can meet some of the team members as well if you want to come check this thing out in person come in ask for me we'd love to help you guys and as always enjoy the journey hey there thanks for watching this video so we want to remind you again to like this video, subscribe to our channel, and turn on your post notifications so we can keep you updated with the best that the RV industry has to offer. If you want to stick around and watch some more videos, we've got a link for two videos here. So we'd love for you to stay and look at that. And if there's anything else that you want us to do videos on, leave comments. Thanks, guys. Enjoy the journey.